Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. One of the differences between PlayStation VR 1 and PlayStation VR 2 is the fact that for PlayStation VR 1 you probably wanted to have as dark as possible room to have a very nice tracking, while PS VR 2 requires you to have a bright room. But here's the problem. What if you still want to play in the dark room? What if you play at night and don't want to have big lights switched on? Well, there is a solution and in this video I'm gonna tell you how to play your PSVR 2 at night. Let's go! PlayStation VR 1 used external camera for tracking, which was detecting light. With PlayStation VR 2 you have four cameras built into the headset that they uh, track your controllers, but in order to do it best they need a nice bright room. Of course that is a problem for people who want to play in dark, uh, be it, I don't know, you've got family, I don't know, maybe you don't want to have night, uh, light at night. Well, the solution is very simple. So PlayStation VR 2 has set of four infrared cameras. So what we're going to do is introduce this little device, any kind of device, as you can see, infrared here, 850, let's get it maybe in shot. So here we are at my desk, I'm gonna show you this a bit, so I've got it switched off now, this is a little infrared torch, and idea of it was to basically attach it to my headset, uh, sorry I've got second camera, it's not as good, attach it to my headset and that's gonna create create infrared light for cameras to track it. And it did work, but sadly, well, it was a bit too heavy for my sweet spot to stay in the sweet spot place. Uh, the PSVR headset is quite light. It's probably lighter than the storage, I don't know, maybe. Uh, so this was weighing it down quite a lot, but if you, if you, I don't know, you can try it. So what I did, I've put it basically on side and use it like that. This is battery operated, so all you need to do is get the batteries in. Now listen, you can get any infrared light, just make sure you don't get any CD reflectors from Amazon or any, you know, those heat lamps <laughs> for your turtles or whatever, what's gonna use a lot of electricity as well. Just get normally, this is just a basic battery that goes in it. Me, look at me being the best Amazon customer, everything Amazon in my house lately goes in here and then you can use it for PSVR 2. So I'm gonna show you how it works, but basically uh, what infrared lights does, it allows night vision and of course you need, I can't, I can't close it now, you need infrared uh, cameras to pick up the infrared light, but PSVR tracks uh, the dots on the controller, I think they, you know, with its infrared cameras. Therefore, if you brighten up the room with infrared torch, that's gonna help a lot. So I'm gonna show you some footage, we're gonna go over it and, uh, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay, so here a bit of footage. First of all, the camera tracking with the lights on. So I got my PSVR 2 on and as you can see, I'm gonna quickly put a camera to the lens. Look at that, uh, I'm looking around, uh, this is what the headset sees. So nice and bright picks up all the elements. Now I'm going to switch lights off. And with the lights off, I've put the camera to the lens uh, and it's total darkness. The camera cannot see and the camera cannot track. You can see uh, all it sees is just a fuzziness of dark room. So impossible to track uh, at all your controllers. You cannot play in the dark, that's why you need light on. Now here where the infrared light comes in. So I switched on my little light here. This is the infrared light, of course with normal camera. All you can see is just a little red shiny dot on the screen. But once I put my headset in the lens, you're gonna see the big difference that makes. So you can see little lights from PS5, uh, there you go. So camera, of course, infrared, invisible to human eye, but camera can pick it up. I'm gonna say it many times in this video, the idea was to have it on the headset, but it was too heavy, but it work, works fine. I have the little lamp on though, so I don't include the view, uh, but apart from that, you know, if you want to do it differently, look how dark it is. If you want to do it differently, uh, basically get two of those and put one in front of you, one behind you, so you don't occlude the light, let's say. Okay, so just to show you with gameplay, uh, this is me playing Horizon Call of the Mountain. 
Uh, as you can see in the background, the camera sitting down there on the chair, which is not its usual ideal position where I would put it. Uh, down there I've got little lamp and camera is kind of like on the other side of the room. But uh, just for this video, I decided, you know what, let's see how it's gonna go, how it's gonna work if the room is fully dark. And to my surprise, it actually worked. But if I turn out towards the camera, uh, I would get info that the uh, camera can track because I occlude the infrared light, of course, my big, big fat body. So what you need to do, get yourself two of those, one for one side and one for other side, or if you're happy with it, have it on your headset pointing down, then that's fine as well if you can attach it. But to me, it's just weighed a lot. But yeah, I'm playing total darkness, no lights on, uh, everyone is happy, nobody knows I'm awake. I'm just sitting in the room, you know, not waking anyone up, uh, headphones in, enjoying Horizon Call of the Mountain late at night. Uh, I chose this clip here. Because, yeah, that's why it's actually detected my guardian as well, uh, and I need it because, as you can see, for the purposes of this video, I stood very close to Tele. That's what, that's what uh, PSVR 2 headset sees with the, all the lights being off. Uh, let me just rewind. All the lights being off and having just a little light source, <laughs> light, light source from infrared torch. Uh, surprisingly, it's working. So, yeah, here it's me checking basically if I'm not smashing anything. But yeah, working great in the dark, just with one. Uh, but you need to, you know, to have proper uh, room scale experience, let's say. Uh, but like I said, I've got one light, a little lamp, night light on, on one side, and then this on other, and it works fine for me. Uh, here, it's me being amazed getting new tool in the Horizon Call of the Mountain, which I couldn't use. Uh, but it's a good clip because it shows you how nice the uh, hand tracking and everything else can work in a room which is uh, fully dark with no light. So it's possible, it's doable, and for many of you it might be a great solution just to make your life this bit easier at night. I know many of you, just like me, <laughs> that's your only time to game, the night time, the late time, and then you're tired in the morning, but you just have to carry on. Uh, so this is uh, just a torch. Uh, there is some infrared lights you can buy. Uh, the torch I find handy because you can I can position it anywhere I want. The battery will last forever, uh, and it's just a nice little device, not too expensive. Of course, like I said, you can have a second one if you wish so. Okay, so that was my little solution. Uh, really like how it's turned up. Uh, really like this thing. Uh, helps definitely a lot. I don't have to have big lights on at all now. I just put it on. Uh, so I, I like to put it kind of. Uh, from side of me, uh, and then I got another light on the other side, uh, you know, little light, uh, but at least I won't get messages that uh, the PSVR 2 can't be tracked, because of course with one light source, if you place it uh, shining just at you, like I said many times in this video, if you turn out, you kind of gonna create a shadow, uh, or if you get too close to it, so you want to have it like, let's say all around you, so I would advise to get two, or do like me, have just a little side lamp on, uh, but you can have a big lights totally switched on, but as you saw in the video, I've been playing this in total darkness, and it's worked. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you're gonna try this, uh, I would highly advise, especially if you're playing late at night, works a treat. I really like this solution, so I'm using it uh, and I'm very glad about it. Let me know what you think and of course, big, big shout out to all the patrons. They're scrolling down there at the bottom of the screen. You are all awesome. And for all the other PlayStation VR 2 news, reviews and all the latest information, stay tuned to the channel as soon as I got something new, you know, news, reviews, gameplays, tricks, hacks, uh, advice, anything, I will let you know right away. And for now, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.